So let's take a look at problem number one. Here we have our xy plane. We have an x-axis going this way as before. We have a y-axis going this way before. And we, here we have point A and we have point B. We want to plot both of these points. Now, the way it works is, as we said in the last lesson, the number before the comma is always x, and the number after the comma is always y. So to plot point A, we go to x is equal to 3, which is right here, and then y is 8. So from this point, we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Notice y is 8, and x is equal to 3, y is equal to 8. So the point is going to be right here at x is equal to 3, and also at y is equal to 8, and we're going to label it point A. So typically we put the point on the graph and then we label the, the, the label of the point, in this case, it's point A. All right. What about point B? 10 comma 1. X value is always first, so it's X is equal to 10, and then the Y value is 1. The Y value just goes up to 1 right here. So it's 10 for X and 1 for Y. That means the point goes right here, and that is the point B. That's the point B. All right. So you see, after you get the hang of it, it's, it's quite easy because it's the same process over and over again. Next point, P, 7 comma 9. X is 7 and Y is 9. So all we do is go on the X axis to 7, which is right here. And then from there, we go up 9 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice that Y is 9 here, right here. And then X is 7. So 7 comma 9 means the point will be right here. Right? It's x is 7 and y is 9, and the point label that we have, have here is called point B, P, so we will label it point P. All right, next we have point Q, 5 comma 2. x is 5, 2 is y. So we have x is 5, which is right here, and 2 for y, so we go up to 2. Notice 2 for y right here. So 5 comma 2 means the point will be right here, and the label here is called Q. So we just put a, a, a little label there, point Q. All right, here we go. Next we have point F, 2 comma 0. So we have to go to x is equal to 2, which is right here. And then y is 0. That means we don't go up at all because here would be y is equal to 1. We have to stay on y is equal to 0. 2 for x, y for 0 means the point is here, and the label is point F. Take a look at point G, 8 comma 4. x is equal to 8, means we go over to 8 first y is equal to 4. We go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice that we're reading 4 off of this. So it's 8 comma 4. So the point is right here. And the label that we have here is the label for G. So we put the label G there. And here's our last two sets of points. Here we have the point T, which is at 9 comma 10. X is equal to 9. So we have to go over for X is equal to 9 first. Then we go up 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for y. Notice we're reading 10 for y and 9 for x. So the point is right up there, and the label there is the point t. Finally, last one we have point v is equal to uh, the coordinate 3, comma 2. x is 3, we go along x is 3, and then y we go up 1, 2. Notice y is 2, x is 3, so the point is right here, and the label is point v. So there we go, point V. Now, for every one of these, notice it was exactly the same process every single time, right? We always, when we're plotting a point, we read the first number off, that is how far we go along X. The second number is how far up we go in Y. Once we get to the, the place where we landed, we put a dot and we put the label, and that's how we plot points in the coordinate plane with an ordered pair. I cannot tell you how important this is. This is extremely important for everything we're going to learn going forward. So practice all of these yourself. So if we want to plot the location of J, then we need to look at the ordered pair. The first number is X and the second number is Y. So X is 1. We go over on the X axis to 1. But then the Y value is also 1. So we have to go up one unit so that it's 1 for X and 1 for Y. So the location of this point is actually right here at X is 1 and Y is 1. And the label here is we call it J. So I'm going to put a J right there. Next, point K is 4, comma 8. X is the first number, which is 4, so we go along X to 4, and then we go 8 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Notice we can read 8 right off, so it's 4, comma 8, which means it's right here, and the label here is point K. So we can read it off again and check. X is 4, Y is 8, 4, comma 8. All right, next point, we have point S. 
8, 32. Now notice I have lots of different numbers. It's not just 1 to 10. I have, I'm counting by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16. But don't forget, between 0 and 4, I haven't put the tick marks, but it's 1, 2, 3, then 4, then 5, 6, then 7, then 8. All of the numbers are still there. I just don't have to put them all on a graph. All right, first value is 8, so it's x is equal to 8, which is right here. Next, I go up 32 units. So I go up to wherever I see y is 32, which is right here. So it is 8, 8 for x, and 32 for y, 8 comma 32, and the label that we use for this one is s, point s. All right, next point is t. 28 comma 32 means x is 28. We go over to 28 for x, and then I have to go up to 32. So 28 going up, again to 32, y is equal to 32, so it's 28 comma 32, which is this point right here, and the label here is point t. So just checking ourselves, we go 28 first for x, and then 32 for y right here, so x comma y. All right, halfway done. Let's take a look at uh, the next problem. We have point c, it's 20 comma 6. That means the x value is 20, we go all the way to 20, which is over here, and then we go up 6 units. Notice the uh, uh, distance here is going by 2, 4, 6, 8, so counting up, it's 2, 4, 6. We go to y is equal to 6, and x is equal to 20, which means the point is here, and the label for this point is point C. So that's what I put right there. x is equal to 20, and y is equal to 6. Next, point D, 10 comma 4. x is 10, we go to 10 right here, and then y is 4, 2, 4. So it's 10 for x, 4 for y. So the point is right here, and we call it a label of point D. 10 for x, 4 for y. All right, that's point D. All right, now here are our last sets of points here. We have point T, 20 comma 90. That means x is 20. We go over to 20. All on the x-axis, 20 is right here. Notice I'm counting by tens. But don't forget, between 0 and 10, I don't put all the ticks, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, then 20. So all of the numbers are there. Here I'm looking for a value of x of 20 and y of 90. So I go up, 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 up till I see a y value of 90, and that means the point is right here. The point is labeled t. x value of 20, y value of 90. All right, and finally, our last point, x is equal to 90 for v. So x is equal to 90, that's right here. And then y is equal to 30. So we're going to count up 10, 20, 30. Notice the y value is 30 right here, and the x value is 90. So that means the point is actually right here, and the actual point label is v. You can check yourself. x is 90, that's correct, and y is 30, that is correct. So in this lesson, we have learned how to plot an ordered pair or a coordinate point on an xy plane. We call this an xy plane because there's an x-axis and a y-axis, and anything flat like that is called a plane, so it's an xy plane. Now, first time students see this, it looks really confusing because you have all these numbers and parentheses and graphs, and but it's not confusing. All you have to do is read the first number, go that direction, read the second number, go up that direction, and then wherever you stop, that's where the point is. Very important for every piece of math that's going to follow this point. So I'd like you to practice all of these and then follow me on to the next lesson where we're going to plot points in a coordinate plane and use that to actually solve a problem. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.